guys first off by missing a lot of uploads i was supposed to upload a video thursday last week but thursday last week was my spring break so that threw me off a lot i did publish a video last week i believe it was only one i'm so sorry about that i was supposed to publish the other video but it didn't and this week kind of got away from me um so yeah i hope you guys can understand um totally you know don't have to whatever but uh yeah hopefully i can get out this video today and then two videos tomorrow to like kind of make up for that lost time but yeah <laughs> uh this recipe was originally supposed to be gyoza which i really wanted to make but i was just like i don't have any of the ingredients and I was waiting until we went shopping and the week kind of just flew by and I was like, great, now I'm kind of like thrown off, I'm lost track, I'm not on my schedule anymore. And then I just kind of threw something threw something together. Um, it wasn't a recipe that I followed, it was kind of just something based off intuition and previous experience. Um, so it's kind of like meatballs, but it's really not traditional or anything and yeah it was really good my brothers enjoyed it i enjoyed it it was delicious so hopefully you guys can take something from this video and yeah <laughs> yeah that's enough of me rambling uh let's just get straight into the video in this bowl here i have half a pound of ground beef and i added a little bit of salt it really you don't really need to eat add salt I was kind of like improvising when I was doing this, so the salt isn't needed. And I just added a teaspoon of ginger, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of pepper. Then I added a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then I added just a little bit of seasoned salt, just like a little sprinkle over the top. This is completely optional and I only really did this because I've had this ingredient for a while but you can add half a teaspoon of fish sauce if you want you don't have to not necessary at all but uh, I had fish sauce in my fridge because me and my mother decided to make pho which was so delicious by the way and it lasts just like um, sesame oil it lasts a pretty long time in the fridge so if you do want to get it um, I recommend keep it in the fridge then I added a little over one teaspoon of soy sauce all right next you gotta like work for it because you gotta mix and combine everything you can wear gloves so you don't get your hands dirty. I'm kind of used to just marinating meat and just staining my hands for some reason. But uh, yeah, I just use my hands and make sure you always wash your hands before and after you touch your food because it's just sanitary and nice to know that your hands are clean and you're working with food so you're ingesting that food and it's, you know, not <laughs> infected with germs and stuff. But yeah, um... That's all you really gotta do, and just combine everything to make some really good food. Of course, you can't see my hands doing the actual ball rolling, um, so I kind of like did it off camera. You can see a little bit of it, but now you just want to work it in work your ground beef into um, meatballs all right now time for the pasta and i detest angel hair i don't like it at all i'm sorry to other people who like angel hair but it is my least favorite pasta to work with but it was all i had so i persevered and just stuck with it and made some pretty good pasta 
Then, once you get all of your pasta submerged under water, you want to let it cook for five to six minutes. Alright, most of my pasta water is drained. I kept about half a cup of it. You want to keep that for your sauce. The pasta water helps thicken your sauce and also glue the sauce to the pasta and make it more flavorful. Now I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons of butter and garlic powder. Yeah, that's it. That's a pretty quick and easy dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.